Hey guys, welcome to another recap of level 2 algebra skills. In this session, we're going to be looking at uh, factorizing quadratics. So just a little bit of revision from level 1. Uh, it's always a good idea just to go back and have a quick look at those uh, little skills. So we're going to be looking at uh, these five questions real quickly. So these are the five questions we're going to be looking at. And so let's get started. So just to kind of recap, if you remember what you needed to do for factorizing quadratics, you always looked at um, what the final number was. Uh, in this case, it's actually positive 10. So you're looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 10 and add up to uh, 7. So good way to do it is to kind of write it like this. I mean, this is just the revision, guys. So I'm kind of going to fly through this. So we can see that the two numbers here are going to be 5 and 2 because 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 plus 2 is 7. So when we factorize um, the first quadratic, we're going to write this as x plus 5 and x plus 2. All right, moving on to number 2, what we have is we are looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 18 and add up to minus 9. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 18 and two numbers that add up to negative 9. Now, in this case, uh, we can kind of see that it's going to be negative 6 and negative 3, and negative 6 plus negative 3 equals to minus 9. So when we factorize uh, that top line there, we are going to end up with x minus 6 and x minus 3. Now, guys, it doesn't matter which number you put in first. Like, for example, some of you might have actually done it like, um, you might have actually done it like this x minus 3 times x minus 6 that's absolutely fine as well because remember with multiplication it doesn't really matter which number you write first like 3 times 2 is the same thing as saying 2 times 3 all right so let's go to question number 3 here so we've got x squared minus 49 now this is um, sum of two differences which you know I'm just kind of go through it quickly again but um, the long way of looking at it is that we can rewrite this as x squared plus 0x minus 49 so we're looking for uh, two numbers that is going to multiply to negative 49 and two numbers that add up to zero all right and so we can straight away kind of see that this in this case it's going to be negative 7 and positive 7 and negative 7 plus 7 is equal to zero so this is what I mean by difference of two squares uh, you've actually got x minus 7 and x plus 7 is what you get when you factorize x squared minus 49 all right a lot of people um, tend to do some really silly things with this but um, we're not going to go into those detail but just remember that when you have a, a, a square subtracted with another square number you can actually factorize um, to the square root of those two numbers all right uh, I'll talk a little bit more about it in question 5 um, but let's go to question 4 now Okay, question four, what we have is we've got a slight little problem. That x squared has to be positive if we want to factorize things really um, quickly. So because we've got a negative, what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this as negative. So we're going to take that negative out as a common factor and write as negative 2x and minus 3. And now what we're going to focus on is that we are going to be looking um, for two numbers that's going to be multiplying to negative 3 and add up and add up to negative 2. Now as for the negative sign we're just going to leave it outside let it hang out there that's fine. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 3 and two numbers that add up to negative 2. So they got to be the same numbers so we can see that it is going to be it's got a different color it is going to be negative 3 times positive 1 and negative 3 plus 1 equals oh, I forgot the 2 equals negative 2. So when we factorize this, what we're going to do, though, is that we're still going to put that original negative sign in the front there. And then our first bracket is going to have x minus 3. And our second bracket is going to have x plus 1. All right. And you can leave it like this. Or you could bring negative into one of those brackets as well. So you could actually have it like where negative times x and negative times negative 3. And rewrite it as negative x plus 3 and x plus 1, like that as well. So yeah, multiple ways of writing the final um, answer in terms of factorizing, but yeah, uh, but it's you've got to get rid of the negative first before you start factorizing. 
All right, and we get to our last question, question five. Now, as you can see, question five is very similar to question three, because what you have is you've got a bunch of squared numbers. You've got 16, which is four squared. You've got 25, which is five squared, and then you've got x squared itself. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I mean, obviously with this one, it is, you know, you don't want to be trying to figure out, take out the negative 25. I mean, we can just straight away look at this and go, well, this is going to be a um, difference of two squares. So we're going to straight away put in, in that first number, we're going to put square root of 16, which happens to be 4 and 4. And we know that with uh, difference of two squares, we're going to have minus and plus. Because if you go back to question number 3, you guys can see that here, how um, x squared, you've got x and x. I should really choose a different color. Give me a second. So when we had x squared, it came from this x and this x here. And then when we had the minus 49, it actually came from minus 7 times positive 7. And we don't have to worry about the 0 uh, x because when we expand this particular quadratic, you're going to get uh, x squared minus 7x plus 7x and minus 49. And what you'll notice is that that part there becomes a zero anyway. So if we were to follow that principle, we're kind of going backwards now. So looking at my question five, and we've got 16 there, which means the first number is going to be four for sure. And then we've got to have minus and plus. Then what we have is 25x squared. Now if you take square root of 25x squared, you are going to get 5x. And that means on the other side, you're also going to get 5x. And um, yeah, so that's basically how you do um, factorization for these kind of questions there. All right, guys, I know I said it was going to be really quick, but I didn't realize I ended up talking for six and a half minutes. But uh, yeah, this is all you kind of need to know for factorizing quadratics, the basics from level one. My mistake, it's actually seven minutes because I kept talking for a bit longer. Anyway, guys, that's basically it for this video. Thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content and also when the next tutorials will be on. There should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. And as always, thank you for watching, guys.